In control, but not controlling. Women want men who are in control of themselves, but not controlling of others. In the face of conflict and confrontation, a woman wants a man to rise to the occasion and respond with calmness, confidence, and calculated decision making. If you are terrified of confrontation, and your idea of being in control is by forcing your will and desires on others, you're not a man who's in control. Being a man in control means that you're able to display grace under pressure while in the midst of difficult situations. A woman may test you to find out whether or not you're a man who's capable of handling confrontations and challenges with tact, poise, and even a sense of humor. She wants to know if you can rationally handle her irrational emotions, stand up to her, or vibe with her on an emotionally charged level. And in order to display this grace under pressure, it's imperative for a man to maintain his frame. Your frame is the method of interpretation you use to comprehend a certain event or situation. In simpler terms, your frame is a set of self-beliefs that determine how you define the outside world in relation to yourself. Keep in mind that the most important factor in how you respond depends on the frame you choose as you interact with a woman. For example, Responding from a frame in which you see yourself as a prized catch, a man of strength, authority, and leadership, will communicate confidence and therefore the congruence she's testing you for. Responding from a frame of unworthiness in which you place yourself in a position of submission, supplication, and approval seeking communicates your uncertainty. If you're in a relationship, her tests will continue to escalate until you get it right. If you're just getting to know her, she might just lose complete interest in you altogether. If you're selling it, you better believe in it. The whole point of testing a man for congruence is to see if he believes his own press. A woman wants to know if what a man is presenting is, in fact, the real deal. In other words, if you really don't believe in what you're selling, she'll know soon enough. For example, if you're extremely confident in a particular area in your life, it may come off as arrogant to some people. As this confident display piques a woman's interest, she may manifest her curiosity with a question like, Are you always this arrogant? Now, a man less convinced of his own righteousness might begin to question himself. Such a man will respond in an approval-seeking way by saying, Well, not really. I'm just kidding, you know or in a nervous manner to hide his shame. You've got me all wrong. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm actually a really modest guy. Again, fail. In this example, the woman has succeeded in finding the truth about him as she thinks, Oh, so he is arrogant, and is trying to convince me otherwise in order to gain my approval, or he's acting arrogant because he really isn't that confident in himself after all. Either way, this self-doubting response is a sign that this man has placed a higher value on this woman's opinion about him than on his own opinion. He has unknowingly surrendered his own self-perceptions in favor of one he thinks she might approve of and thusly fails her test. At the opposite end of the scale is the man who thinks that anyone who has an opinion divergent from his own is an idiot that must be punished. Such men usually respond with spitefulness or aggression if they feel they're being challenged. Whereas the first guy responded like a supplicating wussy, this guy might respond in a more irritated tone and say something like, Are you always this annoying? Granted, such a comeback may work on some women, particularly those who enjoy verbal sparring with the opposite sex. But depending on the rapport between the two in this example, it won't have the desired effect. This interaction could be even worse if this guy takes her test as a personal affront and starts calling her names. This is obviously something a classy gentleman such as yourself won't want to do. There are better ways to deal with a woman who's testing your congruence without being a wussy or trying to control the situation. The man whose disposition rests at the sweet equilibrium between passivity and aggression knows what it means to be assertive and has full control of himself. Thank you.